Flip the unit over and remove nine six millimeter screws. Gently insert the opener pick and slide along the edges of the bottom cover to pop it free. Unplug the battery from the motherboard. Gently unplug the antenna cables from the Wi-Fi card and wind the cable free. Flip open the locking clip and pull back to unplug the LCD cable from the motherboard. Remove six five millimeter screws. Placing your fingers to keep the hinges in place, slowly pull the palm rest up and wiggle it free from the LCD assembly. Gently insert metal spudger to pop the hinge covers open. Gently insert the opener pick and slide along the edges of the bezel to pop it free. If necessary, slide the opener pick along the bottom, but take care not to damage the screen. Remove four three millimeter screws. Lift the screen partway up, peel back the tape, and unplug the LCD cable from the screen. Remove 10 two millimeter screws. Carefully unwind the LCD cable from its seating. Peel back the tape and continue to unwind the LCD cable. Gently insert the metal spudger and pry the camera free from the adhesive. If the tape sticks to the camera, simply remove and reapply to the back cover.
insert the camera and reapply to the adhesive tape. Carefully reseat the LCD cable into the grooves. Reinsert the hinges and replace 10 2 mm screws. Plug the LCD cable back into the screen and reapply the tape. Put the LCD screen back into place and seat the remaining part of the LCD cable. Replace four 3mm screws. Put the bezel back into place and gently push down to secure it. Line up the hinges with the palm rest and push down to put the palm rest back into place. Replace six five millimeter screws. Wind the antenna cables back into place. Gently push down to plug the antenna cables back into the Wi-Fi card. Plug the LCD cable back into the motherboard and secure the locking clip. Plug the battery back into the motherboard. Replace the bottom cover and replace nine six millimeter screws.